Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a 2024 election prediction between Republican Senator from South Carolina, Tim Scott, and President of the United States, Joe Biden. So I just did a video a few days ago on Tim Scott versus Vice President Kamala Harris. So after this video, make sure you check that one out. And um, yeah, so today I'm doing Tim Scott versus Joe Biden. So I'm going to get into the video. Joe Biden started off by winning the West Coast safe as he would against uh, pretty much every Republican candidate. Joe Biden would win Illinois safe. He would win the East Coast safe as well. I think he would also win Maine's first and probably Maine at large. I don't know if Maine's going to be too com too competitive again for a pretty long time. New York would be safe as well. And I think that's going to do it for Joe Biden's safe states. Now, Tim Scott will come in. He'll win a lot of the traditional Republican states. He would also win Nebraska's first district lean. I'm also going to give Joe Biden's Maine's second district lean as well. I think only President Trump and maybe Ron DeSantis can win that district. So now, Tim Scott will continue to win a lot of the Republican states throughout the South. So that gets Tim Scott to 122, plus Alaska, 125. So, Joe Biden at 183 does have some likely states for him. I think Colorado would be likely. Colorado was much more of a swing state from about 2000, well, even 2000 to about 2012, really. 2016 and 2020, it has not been too competitive. Democrats have that state. New Mexico would also be likely as well. I would also throw in the state of Virginia. Virginia, for Tim Scott, I would put in likely because I think a big reason why Virginia has gone so far to the left is it has been trending Democrat. We've known that for a while. But President Trump especially sped that up because he does not approve he is not approved of well in the state of Virginia. It is not a Trump Republican state. And I think Tim Scott will put it back in the likely column, which is somewhere between five to eight, five to nine percent. Just because I think that a Republican who's not President Trump will do better in Virginia. Even though Joe Biden's a very strong candidate for that state, I think Tim Scott would do better than President Trump there. Now, Tim Scott, I think, would win the state of Texas likely. Very, this would be closer to likely than safe, or uh, likely safe than likely and lean. I think Tim Scott would be able to win the state of Texas. I think Tim Scott would do better in the traditional Republican swing states throughout the South and Arizona, but might not do as well in the Rust Belt. Speaking of that, Minnesota, I'm also going to put in the likely column. Uh, borderline safe, but I think probably would just squeak in by about a nine-point victory for Joe Biden in Minnesota. So I'd give Joe Biden the win there. So I think, is that it for likely? Michigan is close. I'm, I'm going to leave I'm gonna leave Michigan off for now, but yeah, Biden has 220. Tim Scott is 166. I think that Tim Scott would win Ohio lean, and I think he would win Iowa lean as well. I think that both of these states, while they are Republican-leaning now, have shown a history of flipping back to the opposite party for a candidate that maybe does not, maybe they don't like as much. And I think Tim Scott will still win these states, but I think they'll flip back more towards the Democratic side. I wouldn't be surprised if he only wins these states by about 3% or so each. Nevertheless, a win to win. Tim Scott is 189, Biden is 220. I think Joe Biden would win the state of New Hampshire. I'm going to give him it in the lean column. Uh, I think Joe Biden is pretty well popular for the state of New Hampshire. Voted for him over Trump by seven points. So I could definitely see him beating Tim Scott by about at least three or four percent. So Joe Biden would get the state of New Hampshire at 224. I also think Joe Biden would win the state of Nevada. Um, it got closer under President Trump twice. And I don't know. I think President Trump has proven he can do well in the state of Nevada. I'm not sure how Tim Scott would do in that state. The margins would probably be a little less, maybe like 52-47, 52-48 for Biden over Tim Scott at this time. However, big surprise here. I think Arizona would flip back for Tim Scott. I think while Arizona is trending more to the Democratic side, I think having a Republican like Donald Trump would definitely affect that. If it's a Republican like Tim Scott, it might flip back. Maybe lean, maybe it'd be tilt, but I could definitely see Arizona flipping back. Now we have the state of North Carolina. Again, I think this would be a Republican hold. Uh, 50, or 16 electoral votes now, excuse me. And uh, Tim Scott, I think, would do better than President Trump here. Him being from South Carolina would also give him a little bit of a boost, enough to win it by about 
and that gets him to 217, Biden at 230. Just because of how Ron DeSantis is handling the state of Florida, I think pretty much every Republican is going to win it in 2024, whether it be him or Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis or Tim Scott, whoever it's going to be. I think Republicans have the state of Florida in 2024. I don't think I don't see Joe Biden winning it in any way. So Tim Scott gets up to 248. Biden sitting at 230. This is where Biden's main appeal comes in. I think Biden will win the Rust Belt state of Michigan. I think he'll win it in the lean column. I think that Tim Scott, while he has some appeal in the South and he has some appeal in the uh, Sun Belt, I do not think he has much of an appeal in the Rust Belt. This is where it's going to hurt him. The state of Pennsylvania goes to Joe Biden and the lean column as well. However, Tim Scott does win the state of Georgia in the tilt column, flipping it back from President Trump, losing it in 2020. Uh, Tim Scott will be able to win this state. He'll be able to flip it back and at least keep it Republican for another cycle. So Scott to 264, Biden's tied at 264, and the state of Wisconsin comes in, and Joe Biden will narrowly win this state by the thinnest of margins, probably under 20,000 votes, if I'm going to guess. Very, very close election, but Tim Scott's appeal in the rural in the rural South and also his appeal on the Sun Belt will be enough to flip back Arizona and Georgia, but will not his appeal on the Rust Belt. He does not have enough to defeat Joe Biden in the Rust Belt. And Pennsylvania and Wisconsin and Michigan will continue to vote Democrat for another four-year cycle. That's going to do it for today's video. Make sure to like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not, if you're a new viewer. If you are a new viewer, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out some of my other ones. And uh, again, make sure to check out the Tim Scott vs. Kamala Harris video I just posted a few days ago. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.